everybody and welcome back and let's get into tonight's episode y'all know this is my favorite show i've been telling y'all since the very first review to roam for love episode three derby italiano did i say that right i'm not italian so i couldn't do <laughs> so anyway let's get into it honey they started off with Nikita. Honey, she woke up with that little gray dress on, slayed. She said today, nobody puts baby in the corner. Baby is not about to be in the corner today. She said she going to be a boss today. She got up ready to slay and look good. She is such a beautiful woman. And like I told y'all my last review, you know, the very first review, I thought it was like a self-confidence thing. I told y'all the last review, they just not getting the right men for her. And I'm going to say it again, this review. This review, I'm seeing less of a self-confidence issue, and I'm seeing it more being of a men to pick from issue. Ashley, and let's like get on to Ashley. Ashley doing this thing with Leo to cut it loose. Cut it loose. And I'm going to tell you why she need to cut it loose. Because as the date went on and she got to talking, he talking about he want to run for public offices and what have you. He going on about her tattoos because to him, a tattoo means you're a smooth criminal. He would never put one on his body. But when how he first said it and came off, it was like he didn't approve of it. Like, I wouldn't have this on my body. I don't approve of it. And I don't like it. And it came off kind of wrong. She was kind of mad about it and put off about it. Because things are different here. And people have different reasons, different meaning. And he said, here, if you had it on, on your body, it pretty mean it's associated with crime. And here it's different. Ashley does not like Shay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I love happy energy people. Me and Shay would get along good. Now, I'm not a morning person. I, I just personally didn't feel like she was bothering nobody. It ain't like they was forced to sit there and listen. But at the same time, I guess they wasn't wanting to be rude. When To me, when you wake up and people like that, like Shay's energy, it sets the tone for the day. She ain't wrong with how she wakes up and starts like to be like that. Now, I, she may need to be a little bit more organized. Like, she needed to have her money. She should have had her money all the time. But who's who doesn't need to be a little bit organized? I think the main reason, and I told y'all the last review, her main, and I told y'all the first review. And this, we're on the third, and I'm saying the same thing. I think Ashley's issue with Shay is competitive. I think because she requires more all the attention, she has to be the one in charge. She has to be leading everything. The most to say, the one everybody's listening to, leading everything. Shay, and I like how Shay said, just like um, I couldn't even get worried about my tummy tuck. Well, Shay read it out the every when she said she got herself snatched. Well, I thought we all understood it. Even Shay understood it. I thought everybody understood it. I guess she just wanted the people to ask her questions and elaborate on it. I'm with Shay. Do we need to hear that you got a tummy tuck? And did you get a tattoo over the scar like everybody else's? I mean, what else can you say about it? It ain't like it's something new. Everybody does it. Everybody doing it. Trick Daddy trying to get his done now for the show he on. I mean, I don't know why you want us to sit here. But moving right on. Damn, Miss Diane came Miss Diane came in that laying and snatched. Miss Diane, they supposed to be looking at the single women, not you, girl. You trying to go home with a new husband. Shit. I said, look at Miss Diane come in. She's a brick. Mm-mm-mm. House. Mm-mm-mm. I said, with her, she had her stunner shades on with them white jeans. Girl. Okay, Miss Diane, we see you. We see you. All right, then. <sighs> Mercedes. Mercedes, how you like people to say it? I'm from Mississippi, so we're going to say Mercedes. <laughs> okay, Mercedes. Miss Diane, thank you for getting this girl together because I tell you what, everything that I be wanting to say, you be saying it for me. And I be trying to take my notes for this show. And when I write my notes down, you turn around and say everything I said I'm, I need to say about her. But honey, she disrespectful. 
Because let me tell you, what's his name? Was wasn't his name? Francesca too, the little dude with the bun, the tattoo art that lived with his mama. Okay, when she was talking about the God thing, Miss Diane said the same thing I said. I said it in the last episode. Y'all go back and watch my last review. Like I said, I know people who not that they didn't believe in God but or Jesus, they didn't go to church. They weren't brought up like that, but then when they fell in love with their mate, they learned a new way. They learned something that they liked, and they started doing it. Number two, he lived with his mama. Just because he lived with his mama, it don't mean he ain't about nothing. He ain't got nothing, but I was glad that she pointed out something that I didn't know. That's the way of life there, and that's something very important when you're dating in a different country. Their way of life is different from our way of life. Here, everybody think, oh, he lived with his mama. He ain't got nothing. He ain't about nothing. No, that's not even necessary for a lot of people that live here because the thing is, if, why go out and make all of those bills and payments if you not sharing it with nobody. I would just bank it and then when you meet the right person, you can go out and get that with, with that person and it can be y'all's together. You can pick something that y'all like together. That's our mentality. But everybody mentality kind of twisted. But I'm glad I, look, you got I still, like, they had Shay trying to talk to a couple of other men and I'm going to tell you, <laughs> she, she messed up when she said the Pope was boring. I said, the Pope boy. I said, how you gonna say it to a both bunch of people from Rome? And then they said they showed it again. She's like, the Pope where I'm from is born. I said I said, you can't say that to these people. I said, do you know what you're doing? And then when they sh <laughs> when, when they show her saying it's only one Pope, y'all <laughs> <laughs> she should have did like Mercedes and just said, excuse me, I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> she should have just left and went and started talking to somebody else. Because both of them men looked at each other. They was like, like, did she just do that? That ended it for them right there. So she just should have went and talked to somebody else. That's okay, Shay, because I like you with Roberto anyway. Or Roberto. I like you with Roberto. Y'all was just cute to me. But son, y'all just had some kind of chemistry that I like. And I just love that whole little thing. But anyway, the ladies was breathtaking as as ever there at the, at the derby. Every single one of them. Now, this Miss Gina and Ali. Olivero, is that his name? Olivero. Um, he was a handsome man. You know, he remind me of Matthew um, McConaughey. That's him. He put me in the mind of him when he was still cute. That's who Ollie remind me of. And I think he was really handsome to be 60. He didn't look 60. He looked a good, strong 50. He was very nice looking. Now, he going to be too busy for Gina. I don't even know why he up here. He ain't looking to settle down, honey. He trying to travel the country. And unless Gina finna be on board with just traveling the country, okay, then they'll make a good couple. If she going to be like, okay, well, I'm I'm looking to be on your arm and travel the country together. She is, she my that's, that's over with already. But I see now she like the powerful, in control type of man. <laughs> Who <laughs> Miss Gina go and get him, girl? <laughs> okay then. All right. Okay, so let me get into Nikita and was it one? He wasn't ugly, but I'm sorry, he just didn't get no oomph for me. Like I said, he was not an ugly man, but <sighs> Where does sex appeal? A lot of these men are nice men, but it's just no sex appeal. Like I said at the end of this video, I'm gonna get into all of this. But it wouldn't, it just ain't no. If I'm gonna fall in love with somebody, there has to be some type of sexual attraction. They were cute and funny together. He he has been, he was a better pick from all the first people they had for her to talk to. I will say that. 
I believe they have her pegged all wrong with the type of men they had picked out for her. I think they feel like she's shy and reserved and they trying to have a more shy, reserved man approach her. And I really don't feel like that's the case with Nikita. I don't think she's going, she is as shy and reserved as we feel like she is. And like I said about the self-confidence thing in the last show, I still don't feel like that's what it is. I feel like it's not the good men to pick from. I don't see no Rick Ross. Oh, like, you know, little man. Oh, put some oh in it. And no man that like on, on the, why did I get mad that make her be like, mm, yeah, like, mm, 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 make it leaky look. Mm, type man. Miss Diane, call me. Let me come help you pick these men out. Dang. Anyway, moving on. He was sweet and everything. When he sent that little note over there on that napkin. <laughs> I didn't think he was trying to be, pro pro how you say it, be, be possessive. But I, I didn't think, he, I think he ain't dated in a while. <laughs> and he really had this beautiful woman. And he was really interested in her, and he just didn't want to lose any connection he was trying to get with her. Because I think he was really feeling her more than she was feeling him. Because he just, like I said, he was a sweet person. Fun to get to know. I will say this. If they kept talking, she may grow, grow to like him more. But he just wasn't, he wasn't sick. I'm not even about to lie and sugarcoat it. He wasn't sexually attractive at all but he was a nice looking guy more of a i'm sorry but and to say this and i know people hate to see this but he is more of the brother type to me like he can be my best friend all day long and we can go to the park and throw a football around and all kinds of stuff he was more that kind of friend to me excuse me line 10 my phone was ringing so anyway moving on <laughs> Let me tell you something about him that he did, though. He told, he gave her the best compliment that he a man could give a woman right now. He told her that she was beautiful, like she looked like Taraji P. Henson, and I think that was a great compliment. I don't think he thought she she uh acted like Cookie. I think he thought she looked he because his exact words said, "You look like the actress." that plays in Empire. She said, Oh, Cookie. He said, Yes, you look like the actress. She he didn't say you look like Cookie. He said you look like the actress that played Cookie. So he don't think you get he didn't he didn't think you was ghetto and he didn't think you was that type of woman. He he gave you the ultimate comment and he told you you was beautiful like her. And I'm going to tell you in that light when you did that little head drop to the side, you did look like Taraji. You look really beautiful, honey. You look real beautiful. And Leo. But anyway. <sighs> she out there in the little cabana trying to get him a massage and what have you and he's still going on about he can't be like this out here in public or whatnot. Let me tell you something. In this, Ashley, it's over with and done with. I don't know why you're trying to hold on to it. If you ain't ended, I hope by the next episode, Miss Diane ended for you because you don't need to be talking to him anymore. I don't even know how he got on the show. If he knew he was working, running for a public office, he going to make your life live in hell. It, it's already showing that you could not be yourself. You would not be able to express yourself. You would not be able to be who you are. And if you see your Instagram account, it's don't, it's that's dead and over with. You are not the type of woman for him. If you run it in a political eye, I don't feel like and it, it being the public eye, I don't feel like you the type of person that's ready to be the first lady or nothing. I feel like you still straddle that line between being um, possible mommy material and still being thought material. I don't feel like you ready and I'm not trying to be rude in any way, shape, or form. All I have to go off is how you present, present yourself. Your social media is how you pr present yourself and how you present yourself if you don't want people to judge you like that then you need to present yourself in a better way shay tried to tell you, you got mad out tried to put out the room now you still holding against it in this this um 
episode, honey, you better listen to what she's trying to tell you because she is telling you right. You're not the woman for him. Even if you think he is the man for you, you are not the woman for him. Leave this man alone. Don't ruin this man's career. Send this man on. And like I said, if you don't, Miss Diane need to. Mercedes talking about she wants a black Italiano. Or he can be white, basically. But he got to be speaking English and eye candy with deep pockets and light guy. I don't know if they're going to find that or not because the girl's so shallow. When Gina got up from that table, I forgot about this. When Gina got up from that table, sister had a pep in her step, had a little twitch in her shape. She got up, she was like, <laughs> she had, I said, I thought she was going to jump up and click her heels together like, Gloop. <laughs> I said, okay, Gina, she was feeling that one. He had her feeling a little sad because she, after that, she kind of loose. Then she started loosening up. She was kind of like, Like your homeboy, she was she was all right after that. Let's see. Ashley did admit to the lady she do talk quite a bit. Let's see, we talked about that. Okay, so let me get on with what I was going to discuss about the picking of the men. So, um, Ashley is doing. I mean, Nikita is doing these. Um, little I don't know if they you call them di diary entries or little vlog entries about her experience and she says like she don't know if the men she getting it picked from is because of her voluptuousness it's like is is if, if that's why she's getting bottom of the barrel this is my opinion from episode one if you go watch my reviews they all been bottom, yeah. bottom of the barrel what i wanted to talk about really it's the men that Miss Diane have y'all to pick from. I'm feeling like that the men that she has y'all to choose from, why they may not be the best thing that y'all have ever seen. I feel like in mine, she's saying, okay, these men, you can grow to love. They may not be perfect, but they financially stable. They smart and they are intelligent and they are caring. Y'all have got to get over the physical appearance of some of these men, because some of these men are not ugly. They are decent looking men. You have got to get to know them. What you need to do is do not look, look at what they look like, but you need to concentrate on the things that y'all have, the things that y'all have in coming, the things that you're looking for in a man, the things that they got going on. I feel like everybody in the group is looking at the wrong things. They are, concentrating on outside appearance concentrate on what these men have going on because them outside appearances is not gonna help you and i'm gonna tell you something you don't want a man every woman won't either and a lot of time when a man look that damn good every woman want him and that ain't number more problem and, and more consequences you want that one that's gonna be good to you and he may not be the cutest one in the bunch he may not be the most attractive one in the bunch but he may be the one that's gonna love you right and i think that's miss diane's mentality where she's trying to get y'all to see and what she's these are the hurdles and standards that she's she was trying to get y'all over so y'all could find love that's my opinion and i think that's what she was trying to do with this whole show and, and those are the hurdles she was trying to get everybody over and get out of their own way so they can find real true love like not just some superficial shit but anyway that is all of my review. I love this show so much. I cannot wait to the next episode because after I do these reviews, I get to go back and see the next episode to see what really happened. So, yes, I love this show. I'll see y'all in the next review. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, and most of all, share this video. And I'll see y'all later.